Hi friends! Today's video is going to be the starting video of a new series that will be taking place all in this office. <laughs> new here first let me say welcome second let me say I do have my own office space I have um, my own office and I have a couch um, all of my bookshelves obviously um, this room used to be my bedroom so my closets in here so all of my clothes are in here plus just random things that I stick in the closet because the room that I sleep in now doesn't have a big closet in it it just has like a regular a very small closet let's put it that way um, and it's used for storage. I've been talking for a few weeks about really wanting to do a complete overhaul of this room and while that is the plan I think it's gonna be a pretty big process. I will be both decluttering, organizing, getting rid of a bunch of things, um, reorganizing the room itself where furniture is, the bookshelves are gonna move, um, I'm gonna completely redo my desk, though not completely redo, it's gonna have a, the same top but it's gonna have a different base, though I will need to redo the top of the desk. Um, but there's some other things we're doing, it's gonna have new legs, uh, the bookshelf is gonna be completely different, um, I've been trying to figure out the best way to do that. Uh, the couch is gonna move, my desk is gonna move, I'm going to get rid of a lot of things um, and just kind of go through this, through everything. and get rid of things that I've been holding on to for a long time that I don't really need or want. I'm totally okay with that. I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to let go of things that I've been holding on to for the last decade or two. Um, there are just things that need to go. It's time. Like I don't need sheet music from middle school. I just don't. It was 20 years ago. Let's let it go. Okay. Again, I'm not 100% sure how everything's gonna fall, where everything's gonna land, but I do know that's kind of what I'm looking at currently. So like a room makeover and a bookshelf makeover will definitely happen. I'm not gonna be repainting or anything like that. Um, I just repainted in here a couple of years ago and I'm, I'm happy with my gray walls and my purple ceiling, they're fine. Which is kind of one of the other things too is that I'm trying to do this very inexpensively. Um, I could buy a new desk, I could buy new bookshelves, I could buy new organization things, but I'm really trying to do this with as minimal purchases, purchases as possible. I'm going to try to repurpose the organization tools that I already have. I'm going to try to repurpose the desk and things that I already have or things that I have around the house, things that I have at my disposal. Now to be fair, I do have things at my disposal more than some people would, like I know that I'm building new legs for the desk and while some people would have to go and purchase things for that, I have that available to me at the house because I live on a farm and because we have rental properties and we do a lot of woodworking projects. I have that available to me either in my garage or in our storage garage that we use for like all of our extra stuff from the rentals. So like I have those things available to me, which I know a lot of people don't. So you may not be able to do this quite as cheaply as what I am, but if you wanna get some ideas on how to do a few things, definitely stick around. Um, I don't like, like I said, I don't know how long these videos are gonna take to make. I don't know how long the process is gonna take. I know I'm gonna get started this weekend and just go from there and see what we're able to accomplish. Well, this is a picture, right? Uh, so this is me in the doorway coming into my messy ass office that currently has shoes and a couch and clothes everywhere and more clothes. Christmas decorations are still in here. I haven't put those up yet. TV, TV stand with nothing on it. Um, there's literally just like a couple of things on there. Um, the rest of it's just, it's there to hold up a television. That's cool. Um, all of my witchy stuff, trash, garbage, fun things there. Uh, blanket on the floor, that's where Ruby sleeps. My book cart, which has the books that I hauled this month, books I've read this month, and the bottom's just like a random amalgamation of bullsh, pucky. Uh, this is my desk. Welcome to the land of me. Um more laundry, books everywhere. This is all my planner stuff down here somewhere. Um, yeah, it's it's a mess. I've been working on planner stuff today. 
So, like, as you can tell, planners everywhere. More planner stuff back there. This shelf is, like, mostly empty. There's some stuff on the top. There's my bat. Uh, there's some stuff on the top, but, like, the shelves behind are mostly empty because I can't see them anyway. And, like, paper and just more stuff and garbage and more things. And my bookshelves are over here. And my closet, my bookshelves. Uh, yeah, they're, they're also not horrible right now, but not great. Um, still a mess. So, basically... That is my overview of, holy cannoli, what am I going to do with this mess? I have a pretty good idea, and I think things are going to be completely different as we move on. But uh, that's what we have for now. I guess I should show you these top shelves too. I don't know that they'll change much, but uh, there's some good light. Um, my TBR shelves, knickknacks, hoochie jiggers, whatnots. Those are red books. So, all of that, all of that, all of that, just stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. You know it, full authenticity. Look at this closet. Look at it. There's things, yarn and things and wrapping paper and bags and clothes and lots and lots and lots of clothes and more clothes and my clarinet from high school, um, some of mom's dinner plaques, plate plaques, I don't know, they're like decorative plates. Yeah, like just stuff, guys, everywhere, everywhere the eye can see, just stuff. There's stuff everywhere. So today, whilst working on the closet clean out, I found my TBR box. Do you guys remember this? Like I was using it last year and I haven't touched it since like, I don't know, February or March of last year. So I guess I'm going to go through and see what of these books I've read and take them out and maybe figure out if we're going to put this thing back in rotation. Okay, it's pretty empty now. This is everything that I pulled out that I have already read. So even though I wasn't actually using the box, I didn't do too bad. I guess it's time for a closet update. So I got rid of a lot of clothes. Like, this used to be full, but uh, now it's not. Uh, that used to be full of clothes up there, but now just the baskets are up there. Um, that hidey hole back there used to be all shoes. There's one pair of shoes left. And all of these shelves are pretty much empty. Go from this angle, maybe. I don't know. Lots of shelf space. I guess there's another pair of shoes up there. But whatever. Um, this one, this has already been gone through. The blue one still needs gone through because it is mostly like paper and computer stuff so that still needs gone through currently the rest of the office is an absolute fucking travesty um well there's a ruby hey boo you're not even on your blankie boo you're not even on your blankie you're just just like okay cool um so next boo this pink basket's where I'm putting things that I am donating. Uh, this basket is like wrapping stuff, so that's staying. Uh, this is just like random stuff that's staying to hang out. This is an empty ba basket that I emptied. Go me. Um, some decorations that need repurposed. This is all paper trash. This is trash trash. Somewhere. Oh, it's out here. It's out here. Um, let's see. This whole bag is clothes. This whole bag is shoes. I got rid of a lot of shoes, actually. If we go into the bedroom. This thing used to be full of shoes also, but I got rid of a lot of those as well. You wanna help, boo-boo? I'll help. We'll help. 
Ah, oh, there you go. And then as many of you know, this bottom shelf used to be all shoes as well. And uh, I've gotten rid of the majority of those also. So I think today I'm gonna tackle the blue shelf in the closet and I'm going to work on the desk and all of this stuff. Fun times. Today for the Avengers Initiative reading challenge, the group is watching Iron Man 2 and I was at work earlier so I'm going to watch that and I'm going to go through um, a bunch of like the drawers and cabinets and just shelves of crud and I'm just going to watch that while I go through things and kind of sort through what I want to keep and what I want to donate, what is trash, and go on from there. New day, new nickel. Um, yeah, fun times. So, I got all of the knickknacks off of the top of the bookshelves. Um, I've got stuff moved from out in front of the bookshelf, so now my current goal is to get all of the books onto the couch. That way I can move the bookshelves. But before I can move the bookshelves, I have to tackle this mess. I don't really know how to do this, which is the main reason why you guys are not getting, like, action shots, because... I, uh, it's a mess and I have no clue what to even do. So, I'm um, just, just doing what I can, y'all. Okay, it is much later in the day. As you can tell, it's dark outside and there's a wild Merlin in the window. Um, all of my books are here. Oh, yeah. Books, lots of books underneath some games. It's been a fun time. That's all empty, other than the stuff that has been pulled off of this shelf, which has been emptied and cleaned out, and that shelf that's normally right there is in there and is holding all the stuff from the desk and the little stand back there. Uh, we're getting there, guys, slowly. But surely, it's a giant mess. But we're getting there. And Merlin's having a great time. Aren't you, Merlin? I bet all of you wished that when you walked into your office, it looked like this. So this is how I left it last night. A uh, little bit of a wreck. A little bit of a wreck, y'all. And so this is where my desk was. And that's those two stands where my desk previously stood on. But that's changing. And, uh, these shelves are going to go over here in this corner somehow. I don't know. And, uh, I have approximately 24 hours until my live stream with Kate. So, uh, good luck to me. I might have made a mistake. We have a live show in two days and I did a bad thing. I did a this thing. That's where my desk goes. I don't have a desk, Catherine. I don't have a desk. So far my favorite part has been that I told her she couldn't lay in here on her bed because there wasn't enough room so she decided to lay directly in the doorway. So now every time I go out, I have to like jump over top of her on the way out and the way back in. How kind. How kind of her. Getting there. Getting there. Shelves are going soon. They're gonna be over here. 
Her ruby is in the same spot, but no bookshelves. They are all babouche in the corner now. And now I need to do something with all of this stuff. Cool. My current desk situation. Guys, a thing happened. A desk was built. Uh, this happened while I wasn't here, so I couldn't film it. But uh, basically, this is my old desk that used to sit on top of those cube stands. But now it has its own legs. Yeah. And now I gotta move it over here and the couch over here and uh, not get a headache from all those puppies. Good luck to me. Well, I got the couch moved out of the corner, but unfortunately, I had to move off a lot of the stuff, a lot of the books, in order to do that. So now I have to take all the books off of the desk, put them back onto the couch, so then I can move the desk into the corner, and then maybe, Sometime this year, I will finish this project. Do y'all know how heavy that couch was? Like, it was fucking heavy, and I'm exhausted, and this place is a fucking wreck, y'all. I don't know if I could do this. Can I just close the door and come back next year? Okay, desk is cleared off, vaguely. Uh, couch is once again a mess. Flash is here. Right, Nugget? Uh, middle of the floor is somewhat clean again. So the next project is this guy needs redone, if you can't tell, uh, from all of this mess. So I'm gonna pull this, and I don't think I have enough of this marble to do another marble, but I think I have purple that I did on the back of the bookshelf. Can we see that? Yeah, on the back of the bookshelf that's purple. I have some of that. So that's probably what we're going to redo the top of the desk with. Maybe. Or I may peel it and leave it blank. Who knows? Not me. We'll find out together. part in the video where you just watched me spend a good half hour or so taking off and reapplying the top. Maybe I didn't show you me putting the new top on. Maybe. I don't remember because that was yesterday. And then what happened was the entire desk collapsed. The legs all broke out from underneath of it. So clearly the plan that we had did not work out. So, what we're doing at this moment is this. I have currently pulled my vanity table out of my bedroom 
and I've got my computer set up in here on that. Not big enough, not going to work for me, uh, but it will do for the short term time being. Um, right now I've also got a just collapsible desk over there as well. So the plan is I ordered a new desk. It will be here in like four days. So for now, what I am going to do with all of this mess is I'm going to go through everything that's left. Anything that is supposed to be in the desk area is just going to get put over here, whether it's on the floor or under the desk or over there on that thing or whatever. Um, all of the computer and desk stuff that's going to eventually be on the desk or at the desk will be put over here. That way I can get to the shelves and getting all of this taken care of and getting this damn couch cleaned off and just getting things back to order. I really wanted to just like do the desk one time, but because the desk was the last thing I cleaned off when I took the office apart, all of the desk stuff is on top of everything and I can't get to anything else until I deal with that. So that's what I'm doing now and I will update you guys in a little bit. Okay, I am ready to start the bookshelves, which I will show you um, like an after when I'm done, but I'm going to do a whole separate video for that of um, going over the bookshelves once they are completed. Uh, but I've got everything cleaned up and I've went through some things that are going to go on the bottom that are not book related and I'm ready to get started on that mess. I've also kind of gotten this to where it's just books that you've gone through. Notice I said kind of. Uh, so yeah, I'm ready to tackle that and I'll be back and show you guys um, what it looks like when I'm done. It has been a few days since my last update and I honestly don't know what it looked like in here when I updated last. Um, I've gotten some books on the shelves. Okay, pretty much all of the books on the shelves but I'm not completely sold on location currently. Um, I've brought in a few more knick-knacky things, but not everything that needs to come back in. Um, I've done some laundry, clearly. And then just things everywhere. Everywhere. And my makeshift desk station currently. And I got the desk in, so that is what I'm going to work on now. I got an L-shaped desk, and I'm going to put it in this corner. And we're just going to see what happens. That is my next and current project. I also ordered new curtains and what else did I order? Something else. I don't even remember what it was now. Oh, a mouse pad. Uh, like one of the jumbo mouse pads for the desk. Ordered one of those too. So, getting there. Getting there. Okay, I think you guys have waited long enough. Here's the door. Let's do this. If you haven't seen my office before, I also have this really cool Here's a doorbell to my office. My nephews really like it because it's an eyeball. And uh, alright, here we go. Ready? Ba-bam! Okay, let's walk in. Let's do a, let's do a pan. Ooh. It's my office. Do 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 do. Let's start in the closet. Let's do the closet first. Do you guys remember how horrible this closet was before? How scary it looked in here? Look, I have like nice, neat, orderly, clean, like, I mean, despite the fact that there's a ring light up there, but other than that, like, there's some games up there, some clothes. I mean, not bad. Not bad at all, right? Not not scary. It's not bad. And this be our view from the closet door. There's a wild Merlin doing her wild Merlin thing, which is mostly probably just wanting to go into that window. No? Okay. Well, I'm going to close the window so it doesn't fuck with our lighting then. Um, I did get new purple curtains. As you can see, they are lovely, they are gorgeous, I love them very, very, very much. Um, bookshelves. I will not be going over these because I will be doing a full bookshelf tour, but I mean, come on guys, they are fucking gorgeous. How could you not 
just love this whole setup. It's amazing. I've got all my shelves up top with all my books up top as well. Shelves down here, knickknack things. I will be doing a full overview of all of this stuff in the bookshelf tour video, but it's gorgeous. I love it. I'm so happy with it. I love like my Halloween decorations out front and center. My quote blanket that is the entirety of The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, Knickknacks, all of those things, tchotchkes, lots and lots and lots of books, my friends, lots of books. And I just love the way this space looks. It is beautiful. It is great for filming. I love it. Then you have this guy here that is clearly a TV stand, but also carries all of my witchy things, like my knickknacks and things, um, all of my cards. And then the bottom is like my spell books and any of my tarot books, things like that. There's also a DVD player down there, but uh, that's it. Okay, cool. And uh, Ruby's bed and it's dirty and it needs washed, but that's a whole other thing for a whole other day. Couchland. Ba-boom, Couchland. So on the wall behind Couchland, we have this over here is the amazing Witchlands bag that the most wonderful Becca C. Smith made for me. Hi Closet, how you doing? That's my ladder for the top shelves of the bookshelves, by the way. Uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful bag for the Witchlands that Becca C. Smith made me. And then this tapestry in the middle is a Witchlands tapestry that came from a book box. This is a Moon Cycle tapestry that came from a book box that is for the year 2021, which is the year we're in. So hey, using that. And then this is a wind chime. Um, I live on top of a hill with no trees around me because we live on a farm. So it is super freaking windy outside. So that thing would be destroyed in about five minutes. So I decided to hang it on the wall instead. I will be putting up a hook and hanging it next to the moon tapestry instead of like underneath of it so that it's more spatially placed. Uh, but it's good for now. And it's the moon and stars, so it, it worked. Okay. This is my disastrous couch and the back end of Merlin. Sorry, also this mess. This is just things that I have no idea what the fuck to do with. So they're just chilling there for now. Also, Dragon Bag made by the beautiful and wonderful Becca C. Smith as well. Hello, Dragon Bag. How you doing over there? Uh, back to the couch. Um, I have dogs. I have four dogs. And for some reason, the fabric of this couch is like the utmost hair magnet that I've ever seen in my entire life. It is the worst thing ever. Like the hair just like embeds in it and it's there forever. Um, so I just put throw blankets over the couch so when the dogs lay on the couch I can just wash the blankets and move on with my life. Otherwise um, I would spend like six years trying to vacuum. Like you can't even vacuum the hair off. Like it just doesn't work. It just it doesn't work. Okay. It just doesn't work. So this is how we're living our lives. We live our lives with throw blankets on the couch. That's how we live. It, it makes my dogs happy and that's all that matters. Okay, desk area. Baboosh, desk area. So first let's start with why do you have an empty stand here? I'll tell you why. Normally this empty stand is over there in that space. I use it like as a coffee table when I am watching TV or reading because that's where I read. So I leave it up Sometimes I put it down, but not often. Usually it's just up sitting over here, chilling, hanging out. All right. As you can tell, this desk is much smaller than the last one, despite the fact that it is an L shape. It's a lot less space on the desktop itself. This stand is all of the things that were on the top of the old shelf. So I have like office supplies, different extra tapes and things, uh, post-it notes, extra tape and earphones and I honestly don't even know what else is in here. Um, that's like nail supplies. Those are all pins. This is my printer that I use to print out my little pictures for my reading journal, which I do really enjoy this thing. It's pretty cool. I do four pictures per page. Works out really well. And then if I don't stand in my own light, the top is, this is a pencil pouch made for me by the beautiful and wonderful Becca C. Smith, who makes all of my things. Um, it's Hocus Pocus and it's glorious. This is where I keep all of the pens that I most use and uh, extra glasses and these are paper clips and then all the things that I use most often for planning. So whiteout, tape runner, flags, tweezers, 
cutty thingy. What's that thing called? Exacto knife, you know. And then all of my accoutrement for my camera that I'm not using at this current moment in time. Tissues, you know, important things. That sits there in front of my planning cart. I have all of like my old and or unused and or I, I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know what all these are at this point. Like I just have a lot of planners apparently. Um, these aren't even the ones that I'm actively using. These are like old ones and ones that I partially used and moved to new ones or just didn't enjoy. There's also some that are like all sticker books, all that. This bottom drawer is, well, this is washi tape. There's hole punch, more stickers, paper. That's a hot mess. And then this top is all of my stickers. So I have all of my happy planner stickers and then just whatever other brand of stickers I have. All of that planner stuff, office supply stuff, boom, done, okay. Office chair, do you need to see it? It's an office chair, woo! All right, this is the thing I need you to explain to me. Why is there a cutout in the desk? Like it came that way, I didn't make a cutout in the desk. There's just a weird cutout corner. I don't know why it's there, but I put my trash can back there, so. That's why I just throw the trash in the corner and it goes boom right into the trash can. It's really great. Uh, these are my active planners. So any planner that I'm using actively is here. I have my daily planner, my reading journal. Ooh, this is my writing planner. This is the one I take notes in. This is my, uh, well, it was my health and fitness journal, but I haven't really done a whole lot of health and fitness lately, but hey. Um, these are... This is my old reading planner and this is my recipe binder. I also have a couple of notebooks that I have for all of the projects that I'm working on currently. This large one is my HB90 method planner. I've also got my sticker book for the Avengers Initiative reading challenge that I'm doing. So I've got, been taking stickers from that. I have a daily, a 2021 daily tarot planner. Ask me how many days I've used it. The answer is zero. All of my tarot cards are down here. I do believe all of my tarot cards are down here. Yeah, the Fae Oracle cards are in the back. Yeah, so all of my tarot cards are in there. Um, this is my first printout or my most recent printout of um, Alexandra's story that I have edited on page. So it just hangs out there. This is my little wax burner. It's a haunted house. It's on brand. Also on brand, I'm currently reading The Invisible Life of Addie the Rue, so it's just hanging out right here next to this computer, aka Cat Warmer. That is where Merlin sleeps. She's an ass. She heard me say her name. She is now coming to visit. There she is. Is she going to go to her bed or is she going to pester us? Hi, Merlin. Chirp, chirp, chirp. And then we have, and then we have the actual desk space, which has a Merlin in it. She's not happy because I'm not paying attention to her. Um, we have all of my artwork above it. This is the same artwork I've always had. Um, I have a bunch of different things here. And uh, I have some over there too. And then pictures of all my nieces and nephews, a whole plethora of them. And up here, I just have like note cards and things that I use for scenes and different things like that. Um, just some different notebooks for things I need on hand. My microphone, which does sit here, hiding my soda usually, which is rude. This space is empty. Merlin, you're in my way. This space is empty. That's where the camera lives when we're not using the camera. Um, bookmarks are all in here. The only thing I think I use out of there is the scissors, commonly used pencils and pens, things I don't actually use in my planner but do use, Merlin's candle, this little dish is where I stick my earrings when I take them out. There's a little witch in all of us. That came out of a book box as well. And then I have, well, I did have a fancy keyboard but I can't find it. Ah, there it is. I have this fancy light up keyboard and a giant galaxy colored mouse pad. 
and then there's a couple more photos under here. That's my face. My phone or my camera is like, hey, that's your face. And then, and then up here, more bookshelves. Um, this shelf is like all of my writing books and more notebooks and things from writing. And then the next shelf is all cookbooks. And then we get into my TBR books. So, hey, books everywhere. Which sounds about right. Okay, so starting from here, we're going to do a quick spin. So be prepared. It's not going to be that quick, but okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess I should tell you that is just like all random stuff that I have no idea what to do with or how to store. So it's just, it's there. Cool. Now we spin. Do, 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 that's it. Back to my face. Okay, y'all. So that is it. That is the entirety of my office makeover. I do apologize that it is a lot later than I had expected it to be. It's also not as complete as I had expected it to be. The end kind of just went off on a whole other tangent, but there was just so much happening with the Worldwide Write-A-Thon and other things going on at the time. And I just... I had, you know, like four or five minutes a day to just like kind of do something and then didn't really have time to film it. If I wanted to get it done, I needed to just get it done. And then I've been living in it probably for the past month, kind of still figuring out some small things here and there, kind of picking up things, deciding what was going to go where. Um, for the most part, I haven't changed a whole lot other than like some tchotchkes, some knickknacks, things have moved. Um, some things have moved as late as today. Um, there's still some things that need to be moved, some things that still need to find a place, but I think for the most part it is as done as it will ever be until I decide to change it again, uh, as I am known to do. Uh, currently I am really happy, especially with my filming space. I really do love having this space to film and having this set up. Um, this chair is not made for reading, it is not comfortable at all, but it is perfect for filming. So I am enjoying having like my chair and my little stand here so I can stack all my books up on it that I need to talk about during the videos. So this is working out great. The only thing I really don't like, the only thing I'm not happy with is not having like a backdrop for when I live stream, which I guess this, you know, backdrop is fine. Um, but I just, I preferred when the desk was on this side of the room, because this is actually where the old desk was. Um, I preferred having that, some, like a wall directly behind me when I was live streaming, but it, it's just a preference aesthetic kind of thing. It's not really like a huge deal. It's totally fine. I just need to let it go. Let me know in the comments below if you have done any major office makeovers lately or if you're planning one in the future, if you have any ideas for like what would make an office space, like what is the thing you want in your dream office space, whether your office space is a closet, a little corner in your bedroom or like mine is a whole room, like let me know what's your dream office space like. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.